Assalamu alaikum dear students Today we are going to start a new unit that is complex numbers Now what is complex number? And what is the difference uh, between complex number? Today we are going to discuss these concepts Now if we consider you know the quadratic equation which you studied in class 10th that is equation of the form of ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 then you can define here number d which is called the discriminant equals to b square minus 4ac where b a c are you know simply the coefficients a is coefficient of x square b is coefficient of x and c is the constant then by quadratic formula you know that the roots of this quadratic equation are of the form of or are given by x equals to minus b plus minus root d upon 2a now we have here three conditions for d because d is you know d can be uh, if d is 0 when d is 0 implies that x equals to minus b upon 2a when x is minus b upon 2a the degree of this quadratic is 2 so it has two roots hence we treat these two roots equal or they are equal to be minus uh, b upon 2a now when d is positive when d is positive this means that root, roots are real and unequal now if we consider third condition when d is uh, less than 0 this means that d is negative when d is negative suppose uh, minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 when d is negative in this equation we get a root of minus negative but root of minus negative is not defined so this means that in this case roots does not exist roots does not exist means there does not exist any real value or the any uh, real number which satisfies or which is the root of the given differential in this uh, quadratic equation if we consider an example x plus x square plus 1 equals to 0 clearly it is quadratic equation a equals to 0 b equal sorry a equals to 1 b equals to 0 and c equals to 1 a discriminant is root uh, this uh, b square minus 4 ac which implies that this root uh, d is here a root of minus 4 which is not defined so this means that there does not exist any real number means any real x x belongs to r such that x square plus 1 equals to 0 which satisfies this equation this means that in order to find you know the solutions or in order to find uh, this uh, uh, root of this equation we have to extend this real system you know we need that system of numbers which contains you know the solution of this system or the solution of this equation or the these types of equations so from this we conclude that there does not exist here x square plus 1 is equals to 0 but not in real numbers there does, does not exist any real number like x equals to a x equals to b such that a square plus b plus 1 equals to uh, plus 1 equals to 0 or x square equals to minus 1 it is not possible in real numbers from this we conclude that there does not exist any real number any real number whose square is negative because x is number x square minus square square is not negative in real numbers so in order to give you know the solution for these system these types of equations or these these types of problems we need we need a new system or the extended system is called as the set of complex numbers or simply you know the complex numbers set of complex numbers now here from this equation x square is minus negative minus 1 if we take roots on both sides it is simply x equals to plus minus root plus minus root minus 1 now in the real meaning or in the real uh, set of numbers root of minus 1 is not defined we cannot define you know the neg uh, square root of any number it is meaningless there was a mathematician that uh, which is uh, the Euler he introduced the con symbol of this root of minus 1 equals to this i fancy i 
Now, if we square here on both sides, it is simply i square equals to minus i. i square equals to minus i in this uh, one. This symbol is called as the iota. Now, Eiler was, you know, the mathematician who introduced the symbol iota, which equals to root of minus 1, with the property that iota square equals to minus uh, 1. Then after this, uh, there was another mathematician uh, whose, uh, we, uh, whose name is Gauss, who used this symbol in order to define, you know, the new, new form of the number. Or he defined a number, which is of the form of A plus iota B. A plus iota B. Where A is real, B is real. This number he called as the complex number or the complex numbers. Complex numbers. So we can define, you know, the number of the form of A plus iota B. A plus iota B. This number is where A is real, B is real. This is called as the complex numbers. This was first of all introduced by this Gauss. And he used, you know, the symbol iota, which was used or which was used by this uh, Euler with the property that iota square is minus 1 and iota equals to root of minus 1. Here this a, it is independent of this iota or there is no relation between this iota. This is called as the real part of this complex number z. While as this b is called as the imaginary part of the complex number. It is denoted by simply real or real, real part of z and this imaginary part is denoted by IMG of Z. That is imaginary part of Z which is B. Simply B. Here we have plus iota B. That is plus B. Now if we have minus iota B. Then we say that the, this uh, imaginary part of the complex number is minus B. Now if A is 0. Because A is real. Real A is real. This means that A may be positive, 0 or the negative. Now if we put A to be 0, then Z is of the form of iota B only. Because 0 plus iota B or 0 plus any number equals to 0. This uh, iota B. Now this when this uh, A equals to 0, we again get a complex number. This complex number is called as the purely imaginary complex number. This is called as the purely imaginary complex number. Now, if b is 0, b is 0, then the z, then z is of the form of a plus iota 0. Now, iota 0 is 0, which implies that z equals to a plus iota 0, or simply a. Then, when b is 0, implies that, or this number of the form of z is called a plus iota 0, which is simply a, it, this complex number is called a purely real complex number, purely real complex number. Now, if we consider z equals to 2 plus iota b, iota 6, real part of this uh, z equals to 2, that's or of z is 2, imaginary part is here 6, that is 6. If we have z equals to 2 plus, uh, 2 minus iota 5, 2 minus iota, phi, then the imaginary part is minus phi. Now, when we can say that the two complex numbers are equal, two complex numbers are equal. Now, let z1 equals to a plus iota b is one complex number, and second complex number is z2, it is c plus iota d, such that these two complex numbers are equal, which implies that a plus iota b equals to c plus iota d. Now, these two numbers are definitely equal if and only if their corresponding coefficients are identical or corresponding coefficients are equal. Corresponding coefficients are here constant because you can use here, you know, the concept of the equality of two polynomial functions or simply the two polynomials. From these, this we conclude that this z1 equals to z2 is uh, or equal if and only if a equals to c real part equals to real part and b equals to d imaginary part of the complex number equals the Im imaginary part of the complex another complex number then we say that the two complex numbers are equal so this was about you know the complex number why we need you know such type of uh, such types of uh, numbers <coughs> inshallah in tomorrow's lecture we will discuss or we shall be discussing 
the algebra of the complex number that is how we operate you know the four fundamental operations in the set of complex numbers so thank you